We are back with the third series on evolution of mathematics during the golden age. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a mathematician called Omar Khayyam. His full name, Gaya Haldin Abu Hafs Omar Ibrahim Al Nisaburi Al Hayami. He was a Persian mathematician, astronomer, and poet who lived between the year 1048 and 1131 CE. He was given back to in a city of Iran, which was formerly known as Persian nation. For every scholar to make significant contribution in the world of science, he must have documentation for his findings. In the case of Umar Khayyam, he wrote a treatise called Demonstration of Problems of Algebra that was innovated by his predecessor, Al Khwarizmi. Umar Khayyam made significant progress to the legacy of his father, of, he, of the father of algebra. He was the first mathematician to explain the concept of cubic equation. His famous cubic equation that was first solved by Umar Khayyam was S cubed plus 200 S equals to 20 S squared plus 2000. He was not able to derive a unified formula to solve this cubic equation. He rather employed the geometric method to solve this equation. From this diagram we can see here, we can see a circle divided into four equal parts which is called quadrant. And inscribed in the first quadrant, we have a right angle triangle that is bounded by two radii, the radii B and radii D. He now assumed that if you have to find a point on the quadrant such that when the number is dropped from that point, the number in this case is labeled A, from that point to one of the boundary radii, which is in this case you can see a boundary radii to be D. The ratio of the normal length to one of the radius, the ratio of the normal length which is A to one of the radius which in this case it can be B, is equal to the ratio of the segment, which is determined by the foot of the number. In this case, the segment is the division of circle. Each of these division of this quadrant of this circle into quadrant is a segment. So the foot of the what of the segment is D to C. Each of the part of the division of a circle is a segment. So in this case, we have this diagram representing the first conception in solving the cubic equation, which is which was used by Humar Khayyim in his first attempt. Another explanation made by Humar Khayyim in solving this cubic equation is the, uh, is the usage of a right angle triangle labeled ABC. The hypotenuse is A, the two other sides are labeled B and C. When you are, if you are to find a right angle triangle that has this property that the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of one leg, in this case it can be B plus the altitude which is the height of the right angle triangle, in this case it is C. When a, a, a right angle triangle has this property which is equal to A is equal to B plus C. This particular explanation was also conceived in solving the cubic equation by Umar Khayyim. Using the two previous explanations of a circle and a right angle triangle, from this picture we can summarize our explanation that when you have a right angle triangle inscribed in a circle, then from that, from that inscription we can see the point of meeting, the point of intersection of these two shapes. And from that point of intersection, we, we can carve out a shape called parabola. And this point of intersection produces solution to the cubic equation as explained by Umar Khayyim in his book. Generally speaking, a cubic equation is represented with AS cubed plus BS squared plus CS plus D equals zero, which is gotten from this point of intersection using this shape. To make, to make it more interesting, we can use a layman definition to, to, to think about a cubic equation. When I'm thinking of a number, if I cube that number, 
then add one to that number. My result is nine. What am I thinking of? Think about that particular phenomenon and you'll get a cubic solution. Another major contribution made by this mathematician that made him so relevant in the world of mathematics today is the reformation of the solar calendar, which he called the Alali calendar. As an astronomer that observed the solar system for some time, he came up with a calculation where he uses 8 of every 33 years as a leap year. Then he finally concluded he finally concluded that one year is 365 days, 0.242198. And in today's calculation by modern scientists, by modern astronomers, they come up with a calculation of one year is equals to 365 days, 242190. The difference between these two calculations, between the Homer Koyim calculator calculation and the modern day calculation is 0.000008 which is very very insignificant and that makes him so relevant to date his solar counting system is still used in the asian part of the continent to date now 500 years later pope gregory 500, 500 years after the the death of humor koyim after the contribution of humor koyim then pope gregory came up with this solar system which we call the google calendar today using some team of astronomers to work on that calendar but which is not as accurate as the humor hygiene calendar and this credit made him so relevant in the science world today Umar Qayyim did extensive solutions for many mathematical problems and algebraic equations. These efforts of Umar Qayyim paved the road for many Western scientists like Blaise Pascal, Sir Isaac Newton, who came hundreds of years after Umar Qayyim. Umar Qayyim was one of the mathematicians that changed the solar calendar that we have today during the golden age and these efforts of the new calendar is still used in some asian countries today it laid the foundation for gregory astronomer pope gregory astronomer to follow and we can have his activity summarized in this particular chart in the year 1048, he was given back to in the city of Iran. In the year 1070, he started writing his book, which he concluded in the year 1074. And this book was his major contribution that is still feasible to date. Then he was he died in the year 1131. Umar Koyim is also a force to reckon with when it comes to mathematics and the advance, advancement of algebraic concepts in the real world. Conclusively, his book contains general methods for solving equations of any degree. He popularized the solution of third degree equation using geometric approach. He also developed one of the most accurate solar counting system that is known of till date. In the next episode of Evolution of Mathematics during the Golden Age, we hope to explore a personality that have made physics a branch of an applied mathematics, the man that have mathematized physics and made physics more mathematically oriented than the abstract concepts that we have during the Greek period, the man known as Ibn Aitim that popularized one of the fundamental concepts of physics, the concept of light traveling on a straight line. So stay tuned for our next episode. To meet again, ideas rule the world.